Hi there, Marcus here. I'm going to really try and make it as simple as possible with uh, to install our 60mm uh, uh, receipt and barcode printer for you. So let's go through it slowly. I've got a folder here and the important part is that the printer requires two drivers, not only one. Now on the 4POS flash drive you will see the 60mm driver as well as the 58mm driver. We need both of them. And the reason we need both of them is that the 60mm driver uh, is used when we want to print labels. But the 58mm driver is used when we want to print receipts. Okay, And the reason is that the 60mm driver does not have the ability to open up the cash drawer. It will print fine, but it will not open the cash drawer uh, itself. Okay, So that's why we need to install both drivers. Okay, so let's start off by installing the 60mm driver first. The printer is connected um, and switched on and there's labels in the same way that the printer is shipped. So start off with that configuration first. Okay, Don't start off and say oh, I immediately want to start printing receipts. Uh, let's just keep it simple first and then once that part works then we can carry on and get smart about it and switch between the different options. Okay, so the printer is now connected uh, and so forth. As if the printer is on, like in this case, you need to switch the printer off and then on again. As soon as you've done that, you'll see that it immediately goes onto the next screen and it says that the printer name uh, must be SPRTTL2X. Please leave it the same. Don't go and say barcode print and so on. Again, if you're going to be using 4POS, 4POS uses that name to determine how it must interface and interact with that printer. Okay, we're not going to set it as default printer, we're simply going to say install. Alright, it's found running on the system, etc, etc. Just simply click next. Don't worry about changing anything there. Alright, and then it gets to the final screen and it says that it's successful, it's succeeded in installing it, and we're done. So now, again, on this computer, we can just go to uh, the control panel, uh, lots of ways of doing it for me easier and uh, explorer just to go in type in control and then I can get into my devices and printers okay and in my printers I can then see that printer is there there's no documents in the queue right click printer properties and by default you would see that it set it set it up for as USB 1 already uh, you'll see later on when we install the other printer, we're also going to use that same port. In other words, one port, one printer, one cable, but two drivers. Okay, or two printers under print devices and printers. Okay, so if we go back to general, we say print this page, it will then print it a label for us there, which is typically we'll just say test label. Okay, nothing more or less. So if I double click on that, we'll see there's no queue. In other words, it's printed fine, even if you're not at the printer to see. Okay, so that's the first part. Okay, now we want to also use that same printer as a receipt printer. Uh, so we'll need to install the second driver, the 58 mil driver. Okay, and we'll specify that it's a 58 mil printer. And it's installed it correctly. Back to our devices and printers. And now we've got two printers here now. So if we now go to printer properties of this one and we check the ports, you'll see that there's also selected USB 1 and we now have two printers that's been configured to use that same port. And that's perfect. And if we now do a test page on there, it will do a printer test page, which is the typical uh, Windows is happy to talk to you kind of question. That seems to be the whole issue that customers uh, are confused about. The fact that we do need two different printed drivers on it. I uh, hope this helps. Okay, so for the last part quickly, let's assume that you're using 4POS. Um, we discussed now the two different drivers. So if we want to print barcodes in the 4POS back office, you go to shelf, talkers, item barcodes. And as you can see, as soon as you specify the SPRT printer that we mentioned earlier, um, it automatically picks it up as a other barcode printer. You simply click next. You can go to stock barcodes, standard label with price already uh, imported or built into the database for you. You can simply click next and say you want two of those labels, argument's sake. 
and then say print you want to print a label yes thank you and there's one product selected and the printer will print okay unfortunately mine has now been switched off um, okay so that's from the back office side of it printing the next part is as we said earlier that in the 4pos scan or 4pos touch program you also want to use that printer as a uh, receipt printer when you configure that in the receipt printer parameters there option 3 you will then not select the barcode printer driver but the 58 ball printer driver and that's to allow the driver to pop the drawer for you okay so again the width is typical 52 mil because we're saying that it's a 58 mil printer print graphics is on um, and that's all you need to configure all right and for pass scan if you just selected a printer obviously you need to just close it and uh, reopen or it will close itself and then you reopen it and then you'll see that on the 4 pass scan program at the bottom left uh, bottom of the screen here under printer it says the 58 mil printer that's the standard configuration don't change it don't uh, want to modify it and say i wanted a different way that's the way that it works um, okay thank you for your time